we are taking you inside Google's $13 billion data centers. Let's boot up. February of 2019 brought the world a great announcement. Google announced that it would be investing and building more data centers all around North America. This venture costs Google $13 billion, $4 billion more than their previous data center projects. It is projected to create thousands of jobs and provide space for offices as well as the data centers. With so much information being readily available at Google's call, an extensive and thorough set of security precautions are in place. It is among the most secure facilities on Earth. All of this information is all stored on physical devices. It is not simply just floating and wasting away in the cloud. Google has tons of physical hard drives that securely store the information. This makes it quite challenging for the day-to-day -day workloads for associates. Maintaining those hard drives is a task that a specific team is authorized to conduct. If a problem occurs, the hard drives are serviced and, if need be, recycled or destroyed. And of course, this is Google. They do not simply throw away the hard drive and walk away. If a piece of physical property needs to be thrown away, it goes into a massive shredder that leaves nothing but remnants of the device. This makes it so that absolutely no one can access any data whatsoever. The offices have biometric scanners located throughout the facility. These require dual authentication in order to reach the secured rooms and only allows only one person at a time. The company operates with six dedicated layers of security. Number one, signage and fencing. Two, the second is the secured perimeter. With thermal cameras and overlapping fields of view, a person can be tracked anywhere on the facility as well as where they have been. Past and present security capabilities. Number three, the third is building accessibility. In order to enter the building, access has to be authorized. RFID badges, security personnel, and biometric scanning are all used in conjunction with one another as well as checkpoints located throughout the building. Number four, the security operations center is where the cameras are monitored. These work hand in hand with the security personnel both on the floors and behind the screens. Number five, the data floor security is set up to only have specific people authorized to have access. This floor's access is limited to technicians and engineers as well as the security detail. This is taken a step further through the integration of the customer having an added security bonus of encrypting their data. This means that even though the engineer or technician may have access to the floor, their data is encrypted with a special key that makes it to where the technician cannot access the customer's information. Number six, last but not least, we have the dedicated hardware destruction protocols and procedures that are in place to offer the most effective form of security. When a hard drive is ready for destruction, it is then passed to the destruction room via a two-way locker. This makes it to where only authorized personnel that are located within the drive shredding room will have access to the drives. Adding to this, the metal detectors are in place to ensure that no property is ever removed. Once on the data center main floor, you will notice the hundreds and thousands of servers and hard drives all neatly secured and placed next to each other. The company manages all of the servers efficiently and quite effectively. A single building is able to support 25,000 machines and carry over one petabit per second of bandwidth. This is literally more than is on the internet as a whole. With this type of bandwidth and hardware, the company is able to successfully supply their customers with the quick speeds and services that they desire.